Hey everybody, what's up? Physical therapist, Dr. Ryan Welton. Can you be too smart? Can you be too smart? Is, does that turn into a problem? I would say yes, it does. And the reason why is sometimes we have so much knowledge and so much um, stuff in our head, statistics and numbers and this and that, that we, we don't see what's right in front of us. You know, like, I don't do that. I have a very simple view of how this works and I get 99% of my patients better with that simple view. And the reason why I, I have a simple view is because at the very essence of an issue, there's a root cause. There's a root cause to an argument between two people, you know, like there's a root cause, you know, maybe this person had a bad day or their wife or husband are getting a divorce or something, you know, like they're getting, they're angry at their life and they're projecting it on somebody else. There's a root cause maybe of that issue, right? There's a root cause of everything. I don't accept that, that we just have to deal with chronic pain the rest of our life, right? So when you get down to the root cause of these issues, you start to realize that it's actually pretty simple to fix, like I did. You know, like four exercises, get any SI joint dysfunction better. It's now proven, and hundreds if not thousands of people are doing it and getting the same, the same results that I am. But, you know, the test for it, I do basically three maneuvers. I showed you, pulling the leg, gap it open, right? But, but if you look at what's been known for the longest time, or whatever, like the SI joint cluster test, that's really complex to me. Like, it's, it's not accurate to me. And it's really complex versus my way of diagnosing it. And it works for me 100% of the time. So, um, so anyways, sometimes you can have too much in your brain and you see it, you know, like, like people that just spend their lives in books, sometimes they, they, they read that and then they get into the clinic and, and it's like, well, this book said that, that, and it's 0.02% statistical, da, 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 da. Like, what if, what if it's not that complex? What if it's easier? And if you look at the lens of root cause, you'll find that the root cause is usually pretty simplistic, you know, to fix versus all these ways of looking at things and doing things and fixing that and making sure they don't eat eggs on Tuesday. You know, like it's most of that doesn't have anything to do with the issue, you know? Anyways, one of the things I do is I, 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 I get to the root cause, which is why my protocols are so simple, you know, and they work. And they all work just as well as my SI joint protocol, pretty much. So, um, anyways, that's what I was thinking. Sometimes you can you can have too much knowledge in your brain. I heard Joe Rogan say something like that. He's like, people can be so smart they're dumb. <laughs> and I wouldn't call people dumb, but you know, just confused with all the stuff in their brain. You know, what if the answer is actually not that complex? And what if it's made complex? Anyways, peace.